Welcome! This is a third section of our course and in this section we'll be finding intent of users using hidden Markov model. Firstly, we'll start from Markov model explanation, then we'll be implementing hidden Markov model for weather forecast. At the end, we'll be using hidden Markov model for finding from which state user will buy a product with highest probability. It will be very interesting, so stay tuned. This is a first video of our section and it will be hidden Markov model explanation. So we will start from explanation, then we will be using the weather forecast using Markov model, how it could be achieved. We will see uh, importance of observations and importance of transitions probabilities. So what the Markov model is? Markov model are mathematical models based on the property of Markov process. Markov process analyzes a set of random dependent events which depend on what happened last. And there is a question where Markov model can be used. So Markov model could be to look at the long sequence of rainy, sunny and foggy days in a particular region. And based on that observations, on that long se sequence of events, it tries to predict what the weather will be tomorrow. And let's remember where Markov model should not be used. So tossing a coin that gathers a sequence of head and tails and tries to predict what it will appear next is not a Markov model because tossing a coin to get a head or a tail are totally independent events. In the weather forecast, if today is rainy, there is dependence that yesterday was rainy also, but in a head and tails and tossing a coin, all events are independent. So Markov models are applicable only for dependent events. So suppose that you want to predict what the weather will be tomorrow based on what the weather is today. We want to find probability of tomorrow's weather given today's weather. Now suppose that we found probabilities of transitions for tomorrow's weather based on today's weather. So if today's is sunny, then there is a probability of 80% that tomorrow will be sunny also. If today is sunny, there is probability of only 5% that tomorrow will be rainy. And if today is sunny, then is probability of 15% that tomorrow will be foggy. For rainy and sunny is 20%, rainy, rainy, 60%, rainy, foggy, 11%. If today is foggy, then probability that tomorrow will be sunny is 12%, that tomorrow will be rainy, 30%, and foggy, 50%. And we can use those probabilities, those transitions probabilities, to model HMM. Because as we can see, if today is sunny and tomorrow will be sunny, this is a transition between state sunny to sunny. If sunny rainy, then it's transition between sunny and rainy and so on. And we can think as a HMM as a finite state diagram because we have finite number of states and transitions between those states. And we can, we should, and we need define transition probabilities. And based on those states, transitions and probabilities, HMM can predict the weather for tomorrow. So what is the probability that tomorrow will be sunny? Given that today is sunny, what is the probability that tomorrow will be sunny and the day after tomorrow will be rainy? That is the question that we want to answer. To answer such question, we need to multiply probabilities of transitions of our states. So let's calculate transition probabilities. Transition between sunny and sunny probability is 80%. Transition between sunny and rainy probability is 50%. So to calculate, as we remember, that will be today sunny, tomorrow sunny, and next day after tomorrow will be rainy, we need to multiply those probabilities. So we need to multiply 80, 0.8, multiplied by 0.5 and the return value is 4%. 4% 4 
So the probability that tomorrow will be sunny and the day after tomorrow will be rainy based on the observations that we had is equal to 4%. And where HMM can be used? It could be used in speech recognition. So it can predict which word was probably said. It could be used in e-commerce to finding when user wants to buy a product and in bioinformatics.